Hello. Hey. Here about your AC? Yes. Uh, oh, girl, it feel good up in here. What's yeah, it's not as bad as <laughs> you would think, literally, but it's hot upstairs. It's hot upstairs? Yeah. Okay, let's see what this says. So we got it. Oh yeah, I bet it is pretty stuffy up there. Three seventy-seven down here. Mm -hmm. I've been here before. I remember this little screw it's here. Up there. I don't got yep. No key to my <laughs> thing. Yep. Just Every year I have issues with my air. It's like a cycle. At least twice a year. Well, that kind of. I think. I think the last time I was here, it was a drain issue. I think. If it wasn't that, then it was just low on. The refrigerant outside. Yeah, I done had that happen, but that, I'm telling you, I, I've been here a long time. You tired of these problems? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I remember that. I did that. Yep, because it didn't have the P trap here. The last time it was clogged, and all I had was a U trap. is doing anything. Line liquid line's not hot. It's two and a half, right? Yeah, two and a half ton. You haven't shut anything off at the breakers, have you? No. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and see what I can find. Oh, it's backwards. Okay. Let's see here. Her unit is right here, not running. Let's see why. First thing I notice, this capacitor is definitely not one of the normal ones. Um, that's like on these little Goodman units. I think this has been replaced recently, if not by us, then one of their maintenance dudes. Normally. I'm not going to say normally. Sometimes I've come across contactors where if it's got this little plate on it, if you want to know if it's pulled in without pulling your meter out, you can kind of press on it. And if you feel a vibration, then yeah, it's it's pulled in. But I don't feel anything. Oh, I got my probes on here because I'm pretty sure this is out on low pressure, so let me check that. All right, this thing's sitting at like 200 something PSI, so if it's out on a pressure switch, then that's a problem. But the first thing I'm going to do, make sure meter set to volts. I'm going to check to see if we got a call for cool. Right, you could check it to the common wire nut, but I'm going to just check the ground out here. We do not have a call. Oh. Why do we not have a call? Let me make sure there's other, at least 24 volts coming out here too. I don't, a lot of these apartments will have like the aqua guard little like drain float switch. Let's see, our, our to ground. Maybe I do need to check the common on here, which would be blue. Because orange is the reversing valve on this system. But a lot of the systems here have just the aqua guard wet switch that goes in the secondary port. I don't know why I just did that. From common to R. Okay, so I got 24 volts there. Still zero volts to common there. So let's go check inside. Oh, this this doesn't have a wet switch. Oh, I'm stupid. It's got, oh, all right. We yep. It's got the pan switch. Didn't know. Oh, brother. Ooh. Sorry, we'll get this water up out this pan and then we'll clean this drain line. All right, y'all, I got the extraction pump M18. Um, I'm just gonna put this tube in here on this side and around on the back side by the switch, and it's just gonna pump the water straight out there. Left my tripod outside, so I'm gonna just try and get this done real fast. Literally, it's almost done. Practically empty. Um, 
<sighs> it already blew out the drain, the drain line with the gallow gun. I just did it upwards that way. Um, let me go get some water. I'm gonna take this panel off, flush it down. All right, I got the pan and drain treatment. Just get that all up in here first. No, the condenser's not on. I went out and pulled the disconnect when I went and filled this up with some hot water. Slowly pour that in and try to see if it comes out over there. I am not seeing nothing come out. It's not good. There we go. Now she's a flowing. She's a flowing real good. That hot water breaking up that material up in the P trap. It already kind of blew free a little bit, but looking good so far. All right, full transparency. I ended up having to grab the shop vac and like suck that out as I poured more water down. Let me open this up, show you guys what it got, because it definitely got a lot more. I mean, it's all soapy now, because that water that I poured in it was hot, soapy water. But I saw a couple of guys on from Florida do that. And it seemed to work for them, so that might be the new thing I try to do, is just put a vacuum on the end and just shoot a whole bunch of water in it and just let it suck it out, because, I mean, let's see how it works now. Just waiting on the condenser to kick on right now, and then double check the pressures. Double, oh, I gotta get my pros up in there for Delta T. Um, I'm hoping that the pressures will be fine and I won't have to add anything. We weren't here for a no AC call. I mean, we weren't here because the system wasn't able to keep up. We were here just because it wasn't working. Um, was that it right there? Nope, that was her neighbor's. That was her neighbor's unit. Um, what are some common issues you guys been you guys have been coming up with um, during you know your start to the summer? We've been having crazy heat waves um, these past three weeks now, and like all the tenants are just complaining that they're not able to keep you know 72 or 69 while it's 100 degrees outside. You know what is, what's the highest it's getting to on your thermostat? 78, 80. 75 but i wanted at 72 i'm like dog this it's amazing at how many people will live in this area for years and, and like not understand you know when these heat waves come around for rentals i don't know about people's houses if you have a house that can maintain that kind of temperature you know good for you but rental properties are really cheap and they're not always the best taken care of so if, if the system can make that 20 degree difference delta t and keep it 80 degrees inside while it's 100 outside I, I've been told there's nothing else we can do, you know. Um, God dang, this delay is taking forever. God, I don't like talking this much because I feel like I'll just start rambling. I'll talk about something useful, though. I did manage to pick up one of the new field piece valve core removal tools, and I have to say, the first, like, three times I used it, it worked beautifully, and I told the guys at Johnstone, like, hey, thanks for getting this to me. You know, it works great. And ever since I thanked them for it, I have had issues getting this thing to pull the cores all the way out for like two weeks now. It'll, I'll be able to unscrew it and everything. I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but I'll be able to unscrew it and I'll feel like the click and I'll like push it back in trying to make it seat to the Schrader core and I'll push it again and it'll pop out, you know, because the valve core seems to be removed and the pressure is blowing out. I'll untwist this and I won't see the Schrader core come through the sight glass. However, I'll do that about two or three times and then I'll just pull out the good old trusty Appian. First try, I'll pull it out and I'm like, dude, what is, were you worth the money? But I still love it though. All right, I can stop rambling this cut on now.
I had that pitched wrong. Pushed it down more, and now it's like a steady stream. How it's supposed to be. We're good. That was it for this one, guys. Um, there wasn't much else to check on that. Um, all those condensers there are dirty. There's no water spigots on the outside, and I don't have that, uh, what is it called? Whatever, whatever machine, I know New Calgon just came out with one. I think it's cheaper than the other, I cannot, Coil Jet, I think it's called the Coil Jet. It's one of those things you can, like, fill up with water, and then it's, like, battery operated or something, and you can, you know, still clean coils with. Um, don't have one of those, so not able to clean the coils. And, all, and the washer and dryer hookups are all the way upstairs. Um, they're not downstairs. I think. I think that's where the lady... Yeah, she told me that it wasn't close by. Um, so, those things always run higher head pressures. But there's barely ever any foot traffic. I mean, the lawn care company back there, you know, yard clippings and everything. So, it's just a mess. Um, I was on my way to the house... But I'm on my way to uh, my boss's to talk to him about the two callbacks he had to do that were mine. Um, he said that they weren't nothing major and for me not to worry about it. But uh, unless I literally go ask him exactly where I messed up at and what was actually wrong, I'm, I'm not going to be able to sleep at night. Um, <laughs> at least for tonight. Just not because I'm like a perfectionist or something, but it's like I don't want to, you know, the whole goal is to not have callbacks. So, you know, you want to try and learn from your mistakes. Well, I wasn't able to learn from my mistake firsthand because he had to go do it. Um, so that's where I'm headed to now. But with all that being said, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, if you happen to not have to work today, a.k.a. Lenny, if you're watching this video, you know, congrats on your four-day weekend. Um, but uh, everybody be safe and everybody drink responsibly have a good one